you are looking to buy, sell or swap RuneScape GP, check out RS.Gold. They give you the best rates at a very fast respawn time. Their customer service is also very friendly and is there for you 24-7. Their company also hosts RS Jackpot which is a case opening website. You can earn some fast old school RS or RuneScape tree items. Then again you can use the coupon code NOOBS for a 5% discount so definitely make sure to do that. Anyways, enjoy the video. Yo, what is going on guys, I'm back with another video and today I am on OS PvP. Now for the people who don't know this server, this is the server hosted by Diddyscape and Spread. Now this server is quite big and is mainly based on PvP, so that is what I will be doing in just a few minutes. First one, I want to announce that I will be giving away an Elder Mall, so all you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, turn on those notifications and comment your in-game name down below. Also make sure you like the video. And I'll be picking the winner in about two days. Anyways, I'll be doing a small server tour and then I'll go into some picking. Alright, so we are going to start right here at the south of Edgeville Bank where you have these max hit dummies. Of course, you can always attack these to see what your max hit is. Um, of course, if you use prayer and use potions, these will be a quite a bit bigger. Then right here you can set your security, then you can check the export, you can talk to him for a guide. Um, get yourself some tasks with some rewards, as you can see right here you can get all these from task rewards, so that's pretty nice. You can also um, right here change your look with the makeover mage. Then right here you can actually, um, what's it called, you can ensure your pets right here. Right here is a mini game with like a ticket system, so you use the ticket exchange right here. And um, you get your tickets and you can then trade it for some armor right there. Then right here if you want to donate you can open the shop with the credit manager and claim your credits afterwards. This is the donator zone right here. So um, yeah if you go into the donator zone you have the ornament shop so you can buy yourself some ornaments with blood money right here to make yourself look a bit cooler. You need to get that fashion scape up you know. And um, then right here you have the teleport wizard. So if you have a look here, there are a bunch of teleports in the general section, uh, mainly places that you can go to for PVM and stuff. Then you have, of course, the wilderness teleports, uh, even the obelisk teleports right here, as you can see. Then you have some more PvP um, teleports, so you have instances, for example, you can go to Camelot, which will then turn into a PvP zone, same with um, Edgeville, Faldor and Lumbridge. Then you have the monster teleports, so you can go to free monsters right here. But you can also get yourself to the paid monsters which will then cost you 100 blood money to start an instance. You can also do these mini games, Barrows, Duel, Arena, Fight Caves and Warrior Guild. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Then once you go here, you have the Rustin which is the blood money store basically. Uh, so you get uh, wilderness points which you can then spend right here. You can get the Raids 2 armor right here as you can see. You can get Twisted Bow, Ancestrals, um, Grazi Rapier, Vernic Hilt. You can unlock these new prayers. So yeah, that's all pretty nice as well. Then right here you have Horvik. So if you have some broken barrows or something, you can repair it right here. But you can also upgrade some stuff right here for blood money. For example, these Voids, Magic Short Bows, you can upgrade these all and it's not too much blood money, so definitely doable. And you can buy yourself some max capes right here at Mac, of course. If you have the 99s, then you can get yourself a max cape as well. Anyways, right here you have the prayer altar where you can restore your prayers. You can also swap your mage book if you want to. I'm going to set it to Lunars for PKing later. Then right here you have the untradeable shop, so you can buy yourself some void right here and some other really cool stuff that you can use for PKing or PVMing if you want to. So that's also pretty nice. Then you have the magic shop here, right here where you can buy some magic uh, supplies. Same with the range store and of course then right next to that you have the melee store so you can buy yourself some cool PVM and PvP and stuff here. Then you have the misc store right here where you can buy yourself some food, some jewelry uh, for PKN and all that good stuff. And of course right here you have the rejuvenation pool for if you come out of the wilderness you can just regen right here and go straight back to PvPing. Now this is an instant PvP server, so if you actually go to right here, you can see the server information, but if you click on presets, so the red uh, one right there, you can actually check the presets. You have melee, hybrid, NH tribe breeding, some pure um, um, presets as well, so yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, you can also toggle the overlays right here, so that's pretty nice, and then you can also check the PVM drops. 
So for example, if you want to check what Cerberus drops, you just click here and then you can see what it drops right here, the rates that you get it and then some um, other information down here. Um, as you can see the attack, defense and uh, some other information as well. So that's pretty nice. Uh, but anyways, right now I'm going to gear up and let's go ahead and do some PKing. Alright, so I am going to use the Dragon Claws 2 AGS special tech. However, let's check out what the max hit is right here. So a 68 into a 67 with the AGS. And then of course I can poke a 42 with the Rapier. So yeah, that's pretty sick. Can get some really nice combos in right there. So let's go ahead and start the PKing trip. So I will be PKing in Edgeville by using this portal. Then I'll go to a Edgeville PVP area. So right here, as you can see, this zone is PvP area for Edgeville, so yeah, that's pretty nice. Alright, so here we go for the first fight, and, um, oops, I am, my bad, my bad right there. So, um, yeah, good luck to this guy, he is red sculling, so this means he is risking quite a lot more than we are. Um, well, to be honest, I'm sculling in this gear, so we, he is not risking more than we are. Anyways, let's go into the claws, 76 claws into the age of zero. You stupid ass AGS man, you should have hit at least like a 500 right there. That was a beautiful claw spec though, it was just stupid that I couldn't hit anything with the AGS. But um, yeah, I guess that's just the way it goes, so uh... Ooh, wait, what? I clicked the food, that's BS man. Alright, and here we go for another rematch, good luck to you man. And um, yeah, let's hopefully get a kill this time because I have to go eat as you may have seen in the chat after this. So um, yeah, I just want to finish off with a banger kill right here and then uh, be good to go to my table and get myself some pretty good food. But um, yeah, here we go, risk it there. Oh, there are stupid AGS. I risk it at that low HP and I didn't get the biscuit. Stupid AGS, man. That should have been such a great kill there. But um, yeah, of course it didn't work out, my RNG sucks man, and um, he will probably whack me like a 50,000 AGS in just a second, because yeah, that's just the, the way every single freaking RSPS hates me. Ooh, I actually managed to survive, okay, I feel a bit better now, he still has that Darox, which is, has like 100% accuracy on me, because um, yeah, I just suck at this game, and uh, okay, here we go. Here we go, we survived his axe once more. So let's go ahead and go in for an AGS right here in a second. Come on, can we just get a few um, big rapier hits? That would be really great. Just a few really big ones. Come on, 32, 50. Ah, come on. I need like 50 pokes, man. Like, give me some 40 plus pokes at least. Not zero, see, stupid game. Okay, 22, I can live with that. But I can't combo. That's See, that's the issue. Okay, 28. Come on. More, oh, he doesn't want to hit more, stupid rapier, man. Come on. Oh, a five on his venge. Okay, that's good. That's, that means I broke his venge on pretty low. Um, so, yeah, that's good. And, oh, let me just eat up there. Don't want to sit at, like, under 60 HP because I know he gets smacked that pretty easily. I just want to get, like, some big rapier hits, but my rapier is absolutely hitting nothing. 23, come on. Venge up. Oh, that would have been a great venge if he actually managed to hit me on the venge and then I would poke him with the rapier. Ooh, that was a uh, that was a bit scary. I don't have a Karam left. Okay, this might get trick. I will need to use Bruce now, but um, yeah, I might be able to tank it. Dude, I swear this rapier is so bad, or it's just probably my RNG. It's probably a bit of both. But still, dude, ah, god damn. Okay, I killed myself by freaking. Ah, I'm so mad at this game, man. All right, here we go. So I decided to change it up a little bit and go to some pure peking. Now, of course, we don't have Venge and all that other stuff, so, um, yeah, we will just get smited out here in a second, and, uh, yeah, it's not going good. Glowpipe is freaking OP, guys, and, um, god damn, this thing is so OP, to be honest. Like, it's it's a bit harder than I expected myself, uh, in the beginning. Holy shit, he's rambling through me. I thought, like, I, if I suck at main picking, I might as well go pure. What the hell, dude? God damn! Okay, now stop rambling me the fuck out and um, let me just go ahead and, and uh, attack you for a second here. That would be really great. Thank you very much. Here we go, DDS, and uh, risk it here. Ah, don't win that stupid game. All right, here we go, a rematch, and this time, it's actually not a rematch, we're just fighting another guy, but we are trying again as a pure, and we almost died already. But um, yeah, we did manage to tank out that AGS hit, so here we go. We have the rapier this time, which hopefully will not let us down, and oh, goddamn, the MSB to um, AGS is so overpowered. 
but here we go DDS and then another DDS let's go for the Rambo DDS here 40 DDS come on Elder Maul let's go finish the oh stupid Elder Maul man you are actually stupid you should have hit like 5,000 here we go big poke and ah oh we are smited oh no we're not smited okay we're almost smited so yeah that's not good either so um yeah let's have a look here okay my prayers are still up and damn the worst PK like ever man all right here we go i give myself one more shot to redeem myself but i'll probably blow it again because maybe i should have warmed up with pking like before because it has been like two weeks since the last time i've pked and yeah of course i am still rusty right now and he's just ramboing me with the blowpipe like it's not even funny man oh god damn okay um at least give me some give me some huge pokes come on game please Fuck sakes, why does everyone have such a good RNG and I don't? Like, it's typical, typical um, RSPS stuff. But here we go, 23 poke, let's go in for a huge DD. Oh, of course I'm that stupid game. Anyways, that is where I will be ending off today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy me failing like 20,000 times at PK because I am the worst PK like ever on an RSPS. But um, yeah, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you actually enter the giveaway of the Elder Mall, which will end in about two days. But also make sure you smash the like button down below and I'll be catching you guys in the next video. Peace.